Welcome to my video tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to bypass internet content filters at school. Now this is a very simple process. The first thing that you need to do is on your home PC, you need to download something called Proxifier. So I'm just going to type that in. Go to Proxifier.com. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. And click on download. Now there's a standard edition and a portable edition. Now the reason I'm telling you this to do this at your home PC is that this website will most likely be blocked already at school. So I'm going to download the portable edition, download the zip file. And once you have that downloaded, what you need to do is extract it. So I have a copy right here. I'm going to extract here. And then I'm going to get a folder like this. Now what you want to do is you want to take this folder and copy it to a flash drive like what you use at school. So you just place this in your flash drive. Now let's set it up. You want to double click on Proxifier. Now on your icon tray you're going to get this little gray box. You want to double click on it. Now as you can see it's an evaluation copy. You do have to pay for a Proxifier. This is a 31 day trial. Uh, if you guys want a key, you can PM me and I'll send you a key for a Proxifier. Just tell me if you want it for Portable or Standard Edition. But for this tutorial, we're using Portable Edition. So you just PM me and I'll send you a key. I'll just click Continue Evaluation for now. And it opens up this piece of software. Okay, now the first thing that you need to do, again, open up an internet browser again and click on X Roxy. Let's go to xroxy.com, I'll leave a link. Click on full proxy list. Now most likely your PC is on using port 80 so you want to select proxy port select 80 because most schools will leave that port open. So as you can see, I have all the port 80 opened. You want to select something that's close to you. The closest possible proxy server available right now is the United States. Okay, so I'll click on View, Proxy Checker. Remember, you're doing this all at your home PC. You're setting it up, and when you transfer it to your flash drive, you'll be able to use it at school. Because these websites will 99% show that these websites are blocked at your school. Click on Proxy Server and you want to fill in this information. So I already have this filled in here for some reason. I think I did it already. Click on OK and click on Start Test. And if the proxy works, that's it. Um, it's a valid proxy. Now you want to click on View sorry options proxy settings and then click on add and then you want to type in the proxy that you tested that works so I try the first one here you want to type it back port number 80 and then for the version you want to select HTTPS because this is a HTTPS proxy that I'm using. You can select uh, Sox Phone 5, but those servers are sometimes very slow. So I'm just doing HTTPS for this tutorial. Click on OK. Now that's just one proxy. I can add multiple proxies, but I'll only add one. The more proxies you add, you're just chaining up proxies together. So you'll be more anonymous while surfing the web. So I'm just going to put one. Click on OK. I'll click on Options one more time. Click on Proxification Rules. And then you want to make sure I process all except the following. So that means anything that you open up that has to do with an internet connection will uh, work. So let me just show you guys. If I open IE, bring up this, uh, processes are now occurring right here. This is uh, what's going on so this is working 
to the proxy that I set up. If you type in an invalid proxy, or yeah, if you type in an invalid proxy, like example, edit that, let me just cut that out, and I type in some crap like, click on OK, OK one more time, exit that, and I, re and I relaunch it, it's not going to connect to the internet. The reason is because when I launched, it launched the application through Proxifier. And because I typed in an invalid proxy, it's not going to work. See? In Explorer, it cannot display this web page. So that's a simple tutorial. Let me just fix back my proxy. Edit. And paste. Okay. And let's see if it works. Works. Okay. So that's just a simple tutorial on how to bypass content filters at your school and place of work. Remember, this is using Proxifier Portal Edition. You can send me a PM if you need a key to Proxifier. Okay, so that's pretty much a tutorial. Once you have set up Proxifier, you want to go like copy it to one of your flash drives or something and plug it in at school. Then from school, you just launch this up. The reason why I told you guys to select Portable Edition is because uh, it doesn't require any administrative rights to launch this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And remember, if you need a key for a proxy fire, just PM me. I hope you like this video. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.